So how do you eliminate cronyism? Eliminate the power of the government? Yeah, the only way to eliminate cronyism is to get rid of government control over the economy. The more government control has over the economy, the more the companies, the entities, the individuals in the economy are going to try to influence the government. And it, it's a game. And once you set the game in motion, it's going to continue forever and there's no way to stop it. You can't take money out of politics. It, you know, th there's always a path for money to flow into politics. If, so what you have to do is eliminate the power of politicians over the economy. It's the only way to make that kind of change. And, and my favorite story here is Microsoft. Some of you might have heard this. I've told it many times. Um, in, uh, in the mid-1990s, Microsoft spent, ex it was the biggest company in the world, the most productive, creative, fastest growing company in the world. And it was spending zero dollars on lobbying in Washington. Nothing. Um, and they were brought in front of the Senate and Armin Hatch, uh, a, a senator from Utah, who's still in the Senate today, Republican, yelled at them. And he said, you guys have to stop spending money in Washington. You have to build a building in Washington. You have to hire lawyers. You have to have a lobby. In other words, you guys have to bribe me. Right? And Microsoft, in, literally in the meeting, they said, look, you leave us alone, we'll leave you alone. We're not interested. We're not going to spend a dime in Washington. We've got, we're busy. We're changing the world. And literally, they were changing the world, right? Leave us alone. So, so what happened? You know, a few months later, knock on the door. We're from the Justice Department, and we're here to break you up. What was the crime Microsoft had committed? Giving away a browser for free. Giving away a browser for free. In the days when we, old enough to remember, had to pay $70 to get Netscape. Yeah, yeah right? And, and they were giving Internet Explorer for free. Bundled in the, you know, the bundled was the keyword, right? So what did Microsoft learn from that? And, and by the way, that lawsuit took 10 years. Add another 10 years of resolution. Microsoft was destroyed. It's never been the same company. Never been. And, and Bill Gates left. And a big part of why Bill Gates left is because of the government involvement in running Microsoft. Right? So... Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so what did they learn from it? Lobby. Lobby like crazy. So they spend tens of millions of dollars today a year. They've got a beautiful building about equal distance from the White House and Congress. Right? Glass building, gorgeous. I've spoken in that building. Um, and look at Google. Google from day one, from day one, was giving out money to politicians. Apple didn't learn too well, so the antitrust division has gone after Apple, right? They, they, right? Google, nobody's ever gone after Google. They, they went after them in Europe, but in America, they're untouched. Even though they have, what, 90-something percent of the search in, in, on the Internet and, and advertising on the Internet, and nobody goes after them? How, how, come, how did that happen? Right? Because they bribed the right people. And they give a lot of money to Republicans and a lot of money to Democrats. So they, they, they dish it out to everybody. So they, they've got it. They figured it out. So the way to stop it is to get the government out of business. Government should not be in the business of business. So they should no, then there will be no motivation. If you don't regulate, then there won't be, there won't be you know, uh, cronyism. And that's why it's so hard. Because how do we get the government out? And until we do, it won't change. You know? and, and you can, you know... The government here in Korea is very involved in the world of business. Business is very well involved in the world of government. And, and that's true in every country around the world because of that.